Launching a nutrition coaching service at your gym really comes down to one question. What do my clients need? Over the last 30 years, personal trainers have sold nutrition coaching as part of their packages. Some of the best have even sold their services in eight-week blocks called challenges or something else. They did it this way because they realized their clients would adhere to a plan better if it had a firm beginning and an end. Their success didn't start with the question, what can I sell or what can I get away with charging, but what do my clients need? Your clients need nutrition coaching, but how much and when? Let's start with nutrition challenges. Here are the pros. Challenges get your clients excited and more clients stick to a challenge than to a traditional diet because a nutrition challenge has a fixed endpoint. It's easier for a client to say, I can hold off for one more week than I can give up potato chips forever. Challenges can also teach clients good habits, even if it's just paying attention to what they eat. Most importantly, challenges do get some results. Counting macros, fasting intermittently, or even giving up carbs, any one will help a person lose weight in the short term. And if they need a bit of encouragement to keep going, fast results can provide it because motivation precedes success long term. Here are the cons. Nutrition challenges usually don't produce lasting changes or results. I can remember several paleo challenges at Catalyst where clients celebrated their success by going out for wings and beer. And yes, I was with them. Challenges could also potentially sabotage long-term results. Five years ago, when gyms frequently offered nutrition challenges to their members, many of their clients would wait for the next challenge instead of fixing their nutrition right away. In trying to help their members, the gym ultimately undermined their service. Here's when to use a nutrition challenge. Use a nutrition challenge when your nutrition service is new or when your clients are new. New clients can kick off their membership, get fast results, and get excited about your service with a nutrition challenge. And when you launch your nutrition service for the first time, a challenge is a good introduction to get clients excited about it. Like any product launch, a big kickoff will help you get some momentum. But if you want to get your clients results, every nutrition challenge should lead to ongoing nutrition appointments. So let's talk about those. Here are the pros to selling ongoing nutrition appointments. Clients form long-term habits that lead to long-term success. Clients can also be guided toward a sustainable, lasting program instead of a binge diet they can't sustain forever. Coaches can alter a client's program when results slow down instead of waiting and praying for a client to ask for more help with their diet. There are some cons. Accountability isn't sexy for the client or the coach. Check-ins can become routine. And as the coach and client become friendlier, the client might figure out what they can get away with instead of what they need to do to be successful. Remember when everybody at your gym went paleo? After the first two months, somebody figured out how to make paleo brownies, right? Well, it happens with every diet. But this is a tiny trade-off. Keeping clients on a plan for two years will make a huge difference in their life, while having them give up carbs for four weeks won't. And you can use nutrition check-ins and appointments forever. Whether you own a gym or take PT clients at Gold's, your coaching practice requires you to stay in constant contact with your clients. The best way to do that is to sell hybrid memberships with the prescriptive model that include nutrition coaching with exercise coaching.